Let me tell you a story about a boy named Max. <laughs> Three minutes Max, they call him. It's simply because Max does not spend more than three minutes to solve a problem, okay? So this is one of the problems that Max has to solve. So in this document, Max has several uh, images ac basically across multiple pages. There's three, three pictures here, there's a picture there, there's a picture there. And uh, basically what he has to do now is uh, he has to take a look at some of this metadata and there's a description in here. So there's a description in every single picture inside of the metadata that he needs to use as a caption, but there are two problems here. First problem is this. You have to manually select all the images, go up to object, go to captions, caption setup. Let's go for the default values here. Let's use a description metadata field, so we're basically looking at that. Uh, I'm gonna use a, uh, a style that I built here and click OK, and now let's create these captions. Uh, captions generate uh, static caption. So this is the problem. So this is all touching things that it should not be touching. So that is problem number one. Problem number two is I have to do this again here, have to do this again there, and basically Max has a rule and it's three minutes max. So that's not what Max wants, okay? So instead, let's do this here. This is the style I'm actually using for my captions, okay? So this is just a basic paragraph style, the one I'm referencing here. Let's go up in here, choose shading, and look at the shading options and add a little bit of shading here inside of this, there we go inside of this uh, style here. Maybe go like for five points, something like this here. Cool, this is what it's gonna look like. Now, let me just redefine the style here, okay? So this is now what it looks like. The problem is it's still touching the text. Now let's just quickly get rid of these captions here, and now let's get to the fix of the problem. Let's go back here, let's go to object, object, captions, caption setup, choose the same style, choose a negative offset of minus 10, for example, so it actually goes over the image. That'll fix problem number one. Problem number two is I have these per page. So let's add captions. The only place in InDesign where we can go across pages, which is from the links panel, go to captions, generate static captions, and it will do it everywhere. You just have to redefine my style. There we go, does it everywhere, and it just goes on top of the picture instead, and it will not be touching anything else inside of this document. And we're done for the full document. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.